January the 7th, 2020. You're looking at the real-time solar wind speed chart. This is from satellite data. It comes in. It's early warning system to our planet. Starting uh, early morning of the 6th, we started seeing an increase in solar wind speed. We were also hit, uh, our planet was, by a magnetic shock wave that's indicated here. Now, the elevated uh, wind speed go, went over to 500 kilometers per second. Now we're down to around 430, which is still very uh, high wind speed. At uh, over 500, guys, you're approaching uh, a million miles per hour. What's happened is that a series of quakes from that pressure have uh, hit Puerto Rico. The latest is a 6.48 kilometer south of Indios, Puerto Rico. Now, yesterday we were getting 5.6s, 5.7s. Now, the two of the quakes have moved inland. Again, yesterday these things were offshore, and there's been damage there. I've seen buildings collapsed, uh, two story buildings and things like that sitting on the first floor, uh, cars crushed. Uh, landslides, a lot of information coming out of there if you look this up. If you have friends in the area, check on them. Not a lot of mainstream media coverage on this, but again, the 6.4 was the strongest one. And what has happened with that increase in solar wind speed and the magnetic field being picked, uh, hit, it says electricity surged through the soil of Norway. Yesterday, January the 6th, something unexpected happened in the soil. It says electrical current started flowing. Reports Rob Stams, who monitors ground currents at the Polar Light Center Geophysical Observatory in Lufthansa. This chart recording shows a sudden surge at around 1930 UTC time. These are your magnetic and ground current uh, charts. They hit and also unexpected auroras. We probably went through a heliospheric current sheet, and if you look that up, uh, I've got videos on it from years ago, but it's a a wave of magnetic energy that ripples away from the sun and if the earth crosses it at a certain point we have this happen but it says uh, again you uh, you've got the auroras coming in and these ground currents guys we covered that extensively while cern was running now cern has they've been down for well over a year they're now talking about not coming back on line for another year or two there's something else you guys in Florida may have saw the orange glow of the third batch of Starlink satellites put up by Owen Musk SpaceX. Guys, at 5.55 this morning, Central Time, a.m., this thing come over my house, and it, it was a bright string of pearls. Now, this is not from the one last night, but you see this training effect. What had happened last night after the launch these things were so close together. In other words, they hadn't spread out like this train you see here that it looked like one long object. I happened to look outside. It wasn't daylight yet. The stars were bright. It was clear. It had not uh, got it light enough to knock that out. And suddenly, it looked like a solid comet streaking above us. And my wife and I saw it for a few seconds. This thing's moving at 4.8 uh, miles per second. So it's moving pretty fast. It orbits the Earth every 91 minutes. And if you go and uh, to our website, bpearthwatch.com, and click on the sat links, you can trace it. This thing we thought was a UFO. It was so close and so bright that uh, it looked like one long cigar-shaped UFO. But that, that's the only thing that it could have been. I've never seen anything like it. And this particular batch was supposed to be as far as the the covering on the satellite darker because there's been a lot of astronomers complaining about the interference of these Starlink groups with uh, astronomy. So, but these were as bright as I've ever seen anything. As bright as the full moon, it it was incredible. But they had not separated uh, far enough to t uh, make out that it was not one long object. If you get a chance to see it. Guys, check it out and don't freak out. But it was definitely something I'd never seen anything like before. So, 5:55 a.m. this morning. If you were anywhere in traveling in Central Mississippi or looking outside, if you saw this thing, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But guys, we're watching it. You guys down in Puerto Rico, keep an eye on these quakes. It's a heads up. Be safe.